I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Well, COVID deaths have fallen off a cliff. That's right. Now the virus is dying, at least here in America. At the peak, we were losing 4,500 Americans a day. This week's daily average, 600. That's great news, except to those... 600. You know, we still have work to do and a ways to go, but we are on our way to ending this deadly virus that has ruined more futures than the Kardashians. We turned it around. The logistics to get this virus on the run and 35% of the country vaccinated is some superhero shit. Thanks, President Joe. So we're clear, free, and clean of any nightmare on this planet Earth, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow your roll, Ollie Optimism, because now that we are handling the microscopic virus, human nature is back, baby, and it's doing what it do again. You know, we're fine here in America, though, right? Nope. First of all, you got businesses that can't find workers. Well, they can find them. But after those workers getting more money for unemployment than employment, <laughs> these workers are thinking, you know what, man? Maybe I'm going to start like an online hummingbird feeder pot dispensary. Oh, I'll call it Cushion. Coo, coo. I'm an Etsy entrepreneur. Suck it, Chipotle. Except Chipotle stepped up and is now paying people 15 bucks an hour. You know damn well the labor market is tight when Big Burrito starts cutting into guacamole profits. It's a pity to waste a whole supreme burrito. He could have opened the window. So, the labor market is messed up, and we have Russian criminals hacking into our grid and shutting off gas pipelines. Yeah, a major pipeline that runs up and down the East Coast was shut down, and fuel shortages are rampant because of panic buying. I clear the gear, I block the knock, I jack the back, I set the clock, so join the ranks of those who know, and fill your tank with text of gold. People have to fill up now, you know, because how are they going to get to the new jobs <laughs> at Chipotle? Yeah, the Russians hacked into a major pipeline and shut it off, you know, because it was on the Internet. Maybe a major oil company should have a better password than who has gas one, two, three. I guess broadband is infrastructure. Right, President Joe? <laughs> on top of that, the Republicans are kind of imploding like a bright, pasty, white, doughy, diabetes-ridden supernova. I watched Liz Cheney drag them through barbed wire. Remaining silent and ignoring the lie emboldens the liar. I will not participate in that. Bye-bye, Republican Party. It was nice knowing you. Not really. Don't let the cell door hit your ass on the way out. And worldwide, the virus is tearing through India like the British did in 1858. And our thoughts are with you, India, because <laughs> we're not visiting. Oh, and the biblical prophecy of Armageddon in Revelations has started in Israel and Palestine. Yep, after 73 years of fighting each other, Israel and Palestine have decided to do exactly what has never worked again. Uh, seven decades of fighting. Let's give it one more shot. Maybe this time war will bring us peace, huh? So the upside is by using science and the amazing minds of people all over the world, we are on the way to ending a once in a hundred year pandemic. But we still have done nothing about the thousands and thousands of years of human beings, you know, creating war and crime and hate and corruption, division and death. <laughs> oh, yep, we are back, baby. COVID is being dispatched with great speed. Now, if we could just come up with a vaccine to deal with this virus called human beings, the new variants are really shite. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. <sighs> I like doing that voice. Hey everybody, Christopher Titus, Titus Podcast with me as always, the lovely bombshell Ray. What's up, people? Well, not as always, right? I was gone. <laughs> well, as almost always. <laughs> All right, put that condom on. Wow, this is going to be a lot of guys are going to replay that. I got the that. wrong size. Why, why does this one have so many views? <laughs> why does this one have two million views? <laughs> oh, also, the Highlander. The Highlander down, with me. Yeah, yeah exactly. In. That's the music. That's me, yeah. down. She's just putting the thing on a microphone. Is that what she's doing? Oh, is that what is it that is? is? Is that all it is? Okay. <laughs> it's a wind scream. We did not plan that at all. Uh, uh, so, uh, and the Highlander. There could be only one. There you go. Uh, oh, we God. we have uh, a weird situation. So the whole Armageddon update was about how COVID, I, I just had, 
some relief that we are vaccinated, that we're like we're Woo-hoo! to the place where things mm-hmm. are like, yes, mm-hmm. all right, 35% of the country, a third, and let's re- let's move on to the, f- what, Israel's bombing shit again? Fuck! <laughs> like we, everything. That so, was quick. That relief got, was quick. Yeah, we didn't take a week off. No one was like, hey, let's just chill. And you know what? We had a tough 14 months. Can we take maybe two weeks vacation? Nope! Let's- I thought one of the like clearest illustrations of that was, because I, as you know, I haven't been on Twitter, I think, now in three weeks we're proud of four weeks Uh, and i haven't watched the news either and so i don't know that everything's burning down until i came home and and then you showed me of course give you an update (laughs) thank you (laughs) the armageddon yeah yeah. uh the armageddon update was actually named after our uh morning coffee yeah yeah Uh, see what's going on you see what's going on (laughs) thank you for this uh uh, but I, what I saw on the news was, you know, because I'm feeling so much better now that I'm vaccinated. Mm-hmm. You got your second yep, one? Second one. I'm all set. No sick? Yes. Nothing. Wow. Yeah. Me too. Same thing. It was Great. good. Good to go. Um, and I was feeling like, okay, we're getting back to normal. People mm-hmm. can get back to work. Mm-hmm. I don't have to worry about my grandma and my dad so much anymore. And now people are forging vaccine cards. Have you seen that? No. Yeah. Oh. That was a big... It's like we can't do anything uh, nice. No, no. We, we can never have nothing nice because exactly. you people keep screwing it up. Like, I, will, I will say this. I have... I'm stunned... So we've had zero vaccine deaths. No, there's zero, right, nothing. Right. We have 100 and 130 million people vaccinated, completely vaccinated, over 230 million shots. 250 as of today. Joe Biden is talking as we speak. 250 million shots. Okay. Yep. So zero vaccine deaths. And these dumb shits are going, I, okay, can I tell you a little story? I'm is flying. that true? Um, no one? Zero. Zero vaccine related deaths. That's, why are you? Zero. I'm making a big see but, oh. zero. I, I'm <laughs> giving you the big because that's how many. I'm but, sure oh. somebody will go. Oh, but there's that one in the. Well, study. they said they said there's three thousand cases that were within like two days of the vaccine, but they were eighty five. Ah, they you know the vaccine was like okay, <laughs> look, we'll give you lay, two yeah. more days. You know what? Here you go. <laughs> <Little> <laughs> you want another eighteen hours? All right, <laughs> all right. Hug your family. <laughs> I had this thought today when I was getting. I don't know why I'm talking like grandma. Because you've been I just her hurt her myself. <laughs> She's at home. Um, I had this thought today because I've had a lot of uh, family time in the last two weeks. I just dove right in after being vaccinated. And I thought um, I totally get that there is a point where people at that age would just want to die. Yeah. Because sometimes now I think that like when you watch the news too much lately and you're like, I don't really want to be here anymore. <laughs> okay, thanks. Because I was going to bring this up today, and I thought, no, I don't want people to get weirded out that Titus needs an intervention. Yes, last night I didn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. Yeah, and right. everything was running through my head. So we had fourteen. You months actually of, got up and it, oh, I was up to five thirty. Yeah. I, I wrote the Armageddon update at five o'clock this morning with no sleep. Um, so uh, I, I had this thought that wait, so we just got through a worldwide pandemic, and we're not through it. it India's dying off. We're actually, someone said we're kind of hoarding vaccine now because- Because the patent. R- yeah, we're hoarding it. They, 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 and and yet we have thousands and thousands of people dying a day. And then, um, so Israel, who's, who's just taking over more land, they're basically doing, they're the pilgrims and the Palestinians are the Indians right now. Uh-huh. And they're just taking more mm-hmm. land. And, and they showed a building co down today. They literally showed rockets hitting a building and the building went, went 9-11 style, man. It went over. It wasn't this tall, but it went down. You, you're saying it's all Israel? I'm I'm saying that currently right now, Trevor Noah says. How much time do we have to? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. We don't. Like oh, we uh, need uh, this podcast will be how seventy how years. <laughs> no, 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 seventy three. Okay, so Israel got that land seventy three years ago. Guess what has never fucking worked, ever. What? Taking more land, kicking Palestinians out, and bombing them. Hey, did the Israels get messed with for a long time? Yes, but the now Israels? they've got Israelis, <laughs> and now they've got they've got now. But wait, but everybody's but the the Saudis have recognized them now. It's not the same as it was. They're just used to it. As I said in the army, getting up that, yeah, sure, you know what? Let's try war again. War always works. For 73 years, war has made everything perfect. If we have war, we will have peace. What? So <laughs> it's not working. And Trevor Noah said something great yesterday. I, you know, I, it was on the line I watched it. Trevor Noah said, he goes, if, if you're, because I'm not saying the Palestinians' children, I'm saying, but if you're a grown person and a child tries to fight you, you don't fight the child with the same... Verve, and he said, when he's talking about his little brothers, would, would punch him. And he and his mom was like, Don't you can kill him in a second. What are you doing? And we are, the, we're the big brother. Yeah. Right? Because isn't we are funding 
the Israelis, right? Well, we, we hope. Oh. The Israelis have one of the biggest armies in the world. I, I'm not saying that the Israelis are wrong for the past, mm -hmm. but I'm saying that at one point after 73 years of fighting, so, maybe it's fucking time to, like, there's enough. By the way, guys, there's plenty of desert for everybody. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Is it is it like on the beautiful yes, it is ocean the, front? Yes, oh, yes okay. it really actually is. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, so they, by the way, you the should the resorts. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually, it's actually some of the, yeah. But I, I just don't understand why war doesn't work. So I got depressed that this is never going to end. I got, and then you got these dumb shits going. If uh, your depression rests on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, we are screwed. Yeah, no, because, it's I won't be here. No. Well, only because uh, it's revelations and biblical and, and you know, mm -hmm. eventually it will set off Israel. Like after I was watching the bombs hit Israel, I was like, okay, well, they got tactical nukes. Here we go. Right. And then, and then and Putin's That's just- in the Bible. Putin's just itching, man. Putin's <laughs> like, I need something, man. I would like to bomb somebody right now. I need I to- I got to I, get in on this. Yeah, exactly. Navalny was not enough. It was- a little bit but it was it, it was cut with protesting so i would not something pure I'd like what do we got hackers i need to draw yeah hackers. oh we shut down gas pipeline it's pretty good okay we're getting there uh so then then the gas pipeline gets shut down we've got dumb that's kind of depressing yeah we've yeah. got dumb asses going uh you know yeah oh biden should have gone on infrastructure yeah dick shits maybe the four years when your guys was been in. there for three months how are we <laughs> i can't i can't build tinker toys in three <laughs> exactly. months I, I know we tried to do a hirschenberg a desk from ikea and it, <laughs> it's still not done oh wait i wait, I heard people <laughs> screaming about like lumber prices and uh, yeah. steel prices. Yep. Like, yeah, because of the fucking pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> Everything oh, yeah, shut that's down, actually, you dumbass. I arbitrarily bought Home Depot stock, not a lot. This isn't that kind of podcast. All 11 shares are skyrocketing. Yeah. Uh, so they went up like $65 a share. Yeah. yeah. I don't have 11. Supply we're, and demand. We're about to go for a boom. That's crazy. But that's also what happened after the, 1919, uh, the 1918 pandemic. It happened It happened the same thing. We, there was a big giant boom after it because people got back to work. All that construction that got held off for a year, spread that out over three years and it add an extra year in that, I mean, uh, of construction. But that requires l knowing history. And that's, yo, yo, we, we yeah, don't that do that. That takes a minute. That we takes a minute. I was too busy watching Netflix. <laughs> um, so we are, I got depressed. I was like, wow, we can't fucking learn. We just went, this virus mm -hmm. came in. It didn't unite us. It didn't do anything except, mm -hmm. are we through Almost it now? We got, we got vaccines? Yeah, yep. if, if anything, yeah. Made us hate each other more. Yep. It's like some, some senator today has came out and said. Georgia. Uh, Georgia. He said, uh, "Oh, that guy talking about the insurrection. It was just. It was just. It was. Wait, what happened? Hold on. With, it's mm. offensive that you would even call it an insurrection. Oh, That's what he started with. It's offensive you would call it insurrection. It was just people visiting the Capitol like any normal day at the Capitol. And I went and looked at the video. Wait. Okay, he said." Um, uh, what was the word that he used? Uh, Uniformly and peacefully walking through, through the aisles of Congress, taking pictures. Uh, and he <coughs> said it was just like any other tourist visit to the oh. Capitol. You remember when wow. you and I went to the Capitol? That sounds exciting. I we told Grandma some cool that tours. this morning, and she was in the recliner, and she goes, "You are you talking about that day where them people were climbing the walls of the Capitol?" <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> yeah, like yes, yeah, Grandma, said, like all the time. That's the one. That's the. <laughs> that's day. on the tour. That's an exciting <laughs> tour. So the crazy didn't stop, and then you've got, and then you've got a uh, half of our country. Uh, it's not half of our country because they're saying Biden's popularity is sixty three percent right now, which is awesome. That's like that's that's that, that's a legit number. Yeah, Trump never got above forty seven. Seventy one yeah. about COVID. Seventy one about COVID. And forty seven percent of those are Republicans. Mm -hmm. So then you have Liz Cheney who came out and said, "Guys, the election was not faked. It was not." There's uh, I, I, I all this weekend when I was on my road gig, Heritage Foundation. There is one thousand. Mm -hmm. 122 cases of voter fraud countrywide mm -hmm. out of almost 200 million votes. Mm -hmm. 1,000, it's 0.0000-7236 percentage. So it's less than, it's 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 what less, there was that a 10 thousandths of, of a percentage? It's statistically zero. Of those 1122 cases, 981 were prosecuted and there was like the, you know, the, the, the rest of the numbers were like um, referred, but zero of those votes were counted. So zero of those votes yeah. were counted, which means guess what? Actually zero voter fraud, not one vote got counted that way, that was shady. And see, these fuckers are keep saying that it's a stone election. And Liz Cheney had the balls to go. All she all she did was, by the way, we these guys can't even deal with a base level. I, I, you shouldn't be a hero just because you went, yeah, the sky's blue. See? Yeah. Blasphemy! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the, you're out! You're <laughs> out! Like, what, like, like, I don't understand the level of crazy and what they don't understand, what the GOP doesn't understand. I, I'm going to let them go because I've realized over the last five years, 
everything they've done has been wrong. So let them, you know what? You know, you got keep doing you, boo. Keep doing you. Just wrong yourself into a ditch. They are. Right? Well, now they're pulling all the voters. So all these old people in Florida that could write in and send their mail in ballots. Which mm-hmm. they did mm-hmm. predominantly. Yeah, including which they did. the old person that was president last. Yeah, uh, uh, and the he military. He just voted two months ago by mail, by the way. Yes. And, and you know that if you look at every election, every vote thing ever in human history, you could find that number and worse. Or right. worse. Worse. Yeah, worse. Yeah. Um, but they also said that, uh, uh, but the military too. So, so Ron DeSantis tried to actually go, oh, uh, yeah, that's a mistake. We want to excu- exclude these areas, our mm-hmm. old people in military. And they were like, dude, you, you can't be, look, we can be shady, but not this shady. <laughs> like at one point, <laughs> why don't you just. My dad actually, maybe I shouldn't be sharing this, but I was in Georgia for a week um, helping my dad out and he hates Brian Kemp. Like, and I was very surprised. My dad is an ex conservative, very conservative gun owner, um, but not dumb. And he can't stand Brian Kemp, thinks that he's the most crooked politician that we've ever seen, you know, because Brian Kemp was secretary of state before. And when he was running for governor, refused to step down from his duties, which included oversight over an election that he Mm -hmm. was running in. And um, my dad said that there is an African-American guy who's a Republican that's going to primary him. And he's voting for him. And I forget his name. I need to look that up. But my dad, I was like, okay, we're doing this then. Yeah. My does- dad said that about Colin Powell. I was My dad was conservative too. And when he said about Colin Powell, I remember just going, what? something's weird. I don't mean because he's black. I mean black, as Karen would No, say. my dad was I kind mean of just- a half a racist. I'm saying yeah. that I was oh, yeah. shocked because mm-hmm. from in my dad's case. That's, he was black. Wow, that's real progress. I'm more <laughs> yeah. thought, and he wasn't entirely opposed to... Um, to um, Oh my gosh, I just forgot her name and I love her. Stacy Abrams. Abrams. Um he wasn't entirely opposed to her at all, although did you know she's a lesbian? <laughs> he did say that and I was like, No I love that he found no, a new but way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a new way I can discount her. No, he right. didn't he liked her. He was not well, a, at all too. opposed to her. What they don't know what they're doing though is they're actually sc- because cause I believe deep down, and I've toured the country enough and met enough people that deep down, even if you're the hardest right person in the world, most people, most, I'm, not, I'm saying most, maybe 80%, have a decent sense of right and wrong. Yeah. And when you got these yeah. guys, when you got these guys lying, kicking out the one person who told the truth, um, they're, they're, the GOP is dragging itself. I've never seen them troll themselves. It's the craziest well, thing I've ever seen. Yeah. I was telling you this this morning that it is a shoot yourself in the foot kind of situation yep. because Liz Cheney voted with Donald Trump, I think it's like 97.7% of the time. Right. She liked the policies. She liked, she voted policies. And then when the guy screwed up, she wasn't afraid to call that out. Whereas Elise Stefanik, who they're putting in her place, voted with him like 76% of the time. So yeah. it makes zero sense what they're doing. Yeah. As yeah, but, as we could say every day. Yeah, yeah, but that's what's going on. They got up in, in the middle of her, she gave a great speech. She gave, mm-hmm. if you guys saw it, uh, you should go check it out. She basically said, uh, if we, if you, if you believe the lie, all you do is uh, um, empower the liar. Yes. And so, and, and then, and, and, and now here's the weird thing. Kevin McCarthy came out today and he goes, he goes, you know, I think we've all accepted that the election, uh, the, the results of the election. After he voted her out for saying the election was valid. I, I just don't get it. I, I feel like the Republicans feel like their base is not as um, aware and tech savvy. So they're not, they, they think that they this stuff is in the background. They, they can know just it. say something. And then it's like, Which they're not, true. people aren't going to look into it. Let just, we can, Which like the true. old days, right. we can just get away with it behind the scenes. Which yeah. they do. But now this is, it's so in your face and everybody knows. You're like, what? But they don't, though. that's the weird thing is with all the technology, like I have, I we have family members that are like in like conservative media and Ray would bring up something and they go, what? And you go, no, didn't you know this happened? And because conservative media is not covering it. Mm-hmm. So they don't know. When I sit down with my, like, my, thank God for my Uncle Dennis, because when I was up staying at their house, I did that gig up at the, in Oakland. Uh, we had long talks about it, and he would actually ask me what I thought and, and listen. And they go, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe you mm-hmm. should turn these, maybe Tucker Carlson is a douchebag. Turn them off. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't mind. That's what grandma's saying too. She cannot believe Tucker Carlson, the things that he is saying. He is telling people to attack people for wearing a mask. Right. Yeah. I didn't even know that. I was like, oh, yeah. She said he used to be on CNN or something yeah, he and was he CNN. was more normal, m- mainstream, and now she doesn't understand why. I mean, it is nice, like with grandma and dad, to hear 
that sanity be, yeah, that yeah people, reason yeah. my dad deleted yeah, fox yeah. he deleted facebook off of his phone he now has uh he i was doing he had me doing stuff on his phone and um he has bbc because i told him he goes well who should i listen to and i said npr bbc mm -hmm. and so that's mm -hmm. the app that he gets news updates from now is bbc i was so proud of we my little say, kid there's some there's tons of like charts that show like who's super right who's super left yep. who's centrist and just fact-based yeah there's a send those there's like, a, just no, I do follow a these. That does go that. Politifact. If you Politifact, they actually broke it down and they go they go true, um, mostly true, half mm -hmm. true, um, um, half false, mostly false, false. And Fox News, seventeen percent of the time they're true. Seventeen percent. MSNBC, sixty-seven percent. CNN, seventy-four percent. And that's not the political and that's, stuff. And it, it, that's it, like the and CNN has almost zero. Well, I mean, still it's, isn't great. It's like three percent lie. Three percent. Here's how you know that it's bad. A an attorney of one of the insurrectionists <laughs> last Friday went into Wait. court and his defense of uh -huh. his client is that he had foxitis and that's why he attacked the capital he lost lost his job so for six months he sat at home and watched fox and that gave him what this new term that he's coined foxitis which led him to uh take over or attempt to take over his government did he look very familiar and rhyme <laughs> with someone named I Ida Titus? <laughs> no. Did look, no. Oh, he didn't. Uh, Foxitis. Uh, it, it should it should be called dumb Foxitis, uh, because he he actually blamed Fox News for him going to the Capitol and attacking police officers. It wasn't mm -hmm. his fault. He was uh, brainwashed, was what he uh. said by Fox. <laughs> Which I have been saying is... for years could be a defense. I remember when COVID first really started and i said if my dad died from it because at that time he was still watching yep. fox that yep. i would sue fox yep. luckily my dad got smart and got rid of fox grandma said she refuses to watch fox now i mean there's a point where thinking people are like that doesn't even make sense yeah like tucker carlson right. laura ingraham he said to, he said call he said if you if you they rip you i think i talked about the last week if you take if you see a parent and their children are wearing masks call child protective services on them what? Holy shit. <laughs> the thing is, Come on. too, he doesn't even have to I hope to he's do driving it. around in an armored car all he's the time. He's getting the fish stick empire, right? Like, right, yeah. Why, why? Fame? Fame is different? Fame is different kind of power? Well, they were talking about putting him up for president. Holy Yeah. So not different than what they've already done. The great news- Oh, true. The Good great point. news is what I said is that you, you, we, I, I'm worrying less about it because Biden's, Biden's doing a great job. He's reacting to stuff like they got there. The problem is now because of the, the pay, they can't get truck drivers to get gas. They're going to try to truck gas down to these places, but they can't get truck drivers because of, because of pay. Uh, Chipotle, I just talked about this. Chipotle raised their, I think, so if you guys aren't going to vote in. Because you haven't told me well, this. Uh, Chipotle. Chipotle raised their minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour. Okay. Because yeah. they can't hire anybody. Right. So. Although, which is great because this is how capitalism is supposed to work. Right. Now, remember these capitalists that years ago were saying when the economy, they're like, they're like, hey, man, oh, I, when, the, when the economy tanked in 08, and they were like, hey, supply and demand. If people work for eight bucks an hour, mm -hmm. I'm paying them eight bucks an hour. Now, people ain't working for eight bucks an hour. They're going to, they no, no, I want to get paid. I want to get paid. It's okay. a strike. Yeah, it, it's basically it, kinda. It, yeah, and they didn't, and the Congress didn't have to vote it in. The fucking market took care of it. Like, no, no, okay, no, no, no you can pay us. You can pass. It still it angers me that it's like they have to be pushed into a corner to yeah. do what's right that's when they could easily afford that. That's capitalism. Man, easily afford, man. So that's, well, you know, I mean, you got yacht payments. easily, okay, but you got maybe, yacht, you got yacht not. payments, you got yacht payments, you got plane payments. I mean, you got, <laughs> you you got know, not paying taxes. Three houses, right? Well, I, can, I know, you know, right. Yeah. <laughs> On top of that, you're not paying taxes. It's it's hard work and it takes a lot of effort. They don't have time to right. think about raising the minimum wage of their right, employees. Right, right, Why right. are you so insensitive? So the interesting also, thing Also, they is, have 7x-wives. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. Child right, support payments. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right, Alimony. right. I, mm -hmm. you guys need to so, maintenance mm -hmm. of the Hamptons vacation home. Oh my God, that's mm -hmm. just over the, the gardener top. alone. God, how just, am I? How yeah. am I eating? I how am know. I eating? For God's sakes! I don't know. Uh, but that—that's what's happening. Is that now people are saying? And I—I—I I, I have, you know, I, you know, you work for us, so I, you know, and and I just I, I want to balance it. I want you. I li listen, dude. If you're happy, then our business works better. Uh, you know. Oh yeah. If I'm happy, then you you have a job, and so it's yeah. just like it's just it's 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 symbiotic, and they no one's treating it like that. Fuck them, seven bucks an hour, man. 
It can be done, everyone. I'm here, living proof. And as the guy gets in his S500, hey, yeah, fuck those employees. <laughs> like, dude, all right. Yeah. So now Chipotle, I like that the burrito people were like, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like the, the industry. That, like, that's the big groundbreaker. That's yeah. the strike breaker is the burrito people. It wasn't like this. <laughs> I like burrito people. I do too. Do I, you? You I am are so, a burrito people. I am a burrito people. You're not one of the typical, like, high burrito people. You're the aggro guy that comes in and stresses out the burrito burrito people but typical burrito people are very easy to get along with uh, at 2 a.m i am a typical burrito person no Mm-mm. just when i not when i'm ordering people at your level of aggression typically like their food separated on a plate equidistant from one another no i'm not that guy <laughs> oh that's about cd are, and you got a a uh, stepfather got mad at you and attacked you for separating Slap your food. On, see, and now you're trying to be cool by putting all your food together. <laughs> I, make, I just want to get slapped, <laughs> and I know you. And you're so <laughs> you're so not a throw it all together and wrap it in a tortilla, man. Kind of. I guy. am like that. I am. I love burritos. But you are more obsessed Grandma with burritos. Than he likes any, a wrap. Anything in a wrap. Anything. You put anything in a wrap. He eat ice cream in a wrap. He eat. loves it. He. Lo- I think it's because you can do things while eating. I yes, think I have. I yes. He can type. He yeah, can call yeah, yeah. people. He can drive. Right. He can. It's in its weird. own edible container. <laughs> he, he never does <laughs> that. Cut from, the, cut from this to that. <laughs> yeah, he never does that when he's eating a burrito. That's, that's, that's was, a weird. I don't know you what that driving. was. <laughs> Again, we're gonna have a lot of views. We're gonna do a lot of views on this one. <laughs> it was because you drive uh, wow. hectic. So. <laughs> Who's making my burritos? That's a and, and where am I getting? Grandma those made them. Wow. No. They're, 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 wow. They are. Wow. <laughs> hey, just real guys. Ah, wow, that's really odd. My brother used back. to. Why yell. is everybody at stoplights looking at me while I'm eating a burrito? Because you're blowing a burrito, bro. My brother lives by the creed: the creed, bur- a banana to mouth, not mouth to banana. <laughs> he is so. That's one of his. He has so much angst about that because when he was working border patrol, there was a guy. They would go out on the boat when my brother got his license as a captain, and and the guy would hold the banana and. Bend over and oh my, take no bites way. of the banana, <laughs> and they videoed it, and I got a copy of the video. But my brother's very That's strong. A heavy oh, banana. Not only that, but dude. So listen, everyone at home, if you're eating bananas, you just got to show that guy that video. Men and hey, women bro. both. <laughs> this is the oh, if you, oh, if the God. banana is stationary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That implies now, on the pick boat. up the banana because so he, I think he was bracing. He was trying to brace the banana. Yeah, it's sure. still oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Why, why did he peel it so far down? Yeah, yeah. That's another problem. Exactly. And why so deep? Why is it? Why are you? And why with his tongue? Why yeah, exactly. you, what like what is going on? Why did he zipper it? And why open? make this noise? Oh, what are you doing, dude? Um, but but also, not biting it. Stop but biting. also, if your motor skills are so bad, you need to brace. You should Donald not Trump. be doing. That's how Donald you, Trump. You would should. Yeah, exactly. Two handed. Ah, duh. <laughs> <laughs> and just like you know, like do something. Like <laughs> oh my god, he's always five. He just got it. He's actually <laughs> younger in his brain than both oh, of I told us. You <laughs> jokes from the new show yesterday, I and he was like, "Yeah, it's awesome." We're all equally dumb. <laughs> yeah. Until we do beat. a fart sketch, and then he's crying. <laughs> <laughs> He's crying. I was right with him. I was. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right with him. Yeah. Are we gonna do another uh, movie like clip? Second diarrhea or something? Like, something. What? Yeah, no, we need to. What did you say? The farts and the furious. <laughs> farts and the furious. Oh yeah. Or Schindler's Fart. Uh, fart Club. By the way, in his, <laughs> Schindler's Fart. You did uh, not do Schindler's yeah, Fart. That would be Schindler's Fart. <laughs> Schindler's Fart. But you can't. Uh, Schindler's, Schindler's List. list. That's, you're crossing too many lines. You can't. On yeah, we're like, we I can't. don't want to get. I don't want to get that. Just the house. Not just demonetize. We're gonna get D. Yeah. If yeah, you exactly. don't know what we're talking about, you need to watch uh, the second Titus and Bradley, which we haven't written yet. No, no, the second one, you dipshit. That's already happened. Um, when oh, is yeah. that going the up for download, one. or is it going up? Because New Year's Eve was oh, Titus oh, and Bradley oh, right. Us. So the third one's right. We're working on Technically. Oh, we're, working on, we're, we're touching that one up. So that, that will go up for download, so yep. you guys can see what we're talking about, this little piece of genius uh, that we have talked about for two years. But also, we're doing our third one, but mm-hmm. we're calling it the second because... I don't know why. Uh, on because May thirtieth, because the first one was like we dabbled in sketches. This is literally a, a sketch, sketch show. show. Got yeah. it. Our, our the first one, right? Was right. a full on sketch show, and yeah. it was called Us. So these right. two are Titus and Bradley. So May thirtieth, live stream from the studio here. Ten bucks. You know the drill. You can donate tickets for people. Um, we're are we going to do a happy hour again? I love the happy hour. 
We're going to do it again? Yes. I, I think, think next time he should have to be in the happy hour. I think so, too. I think so. You're the musical guest on this one. Oh, oh that's yes. right. Oh, and yes. the traveling so. Wilburys are going to be. No. Yeah. Yeah. The Willing it's, Bureau. It's got actually, let's be, he's got an album out now. It's really oh, quite let's good. Let's talk about that, Oh, too. thank you, sir. Really so uh, go get tickets. Those are going to be on sale today once I get that graphic. And um, so Misanthrope, by the way. Go look up Willing Bureau Misanthrope. Wait. Get it. Li- we're getting to that. Uh, so Titus and Bradley go to Combustion Live for tickets. May yep. 30th. We're going to do it. It's Memorial Day evening. It's is the it day. Memorial? It's the night before yep. Memorial Day. So Sunday. Sunday. Right. So And then also the musical guest is the Willing Bureau mm-hmm. and you can get that album yep. now. It's available at all online stores now. And what, what are they searching? The cover is killer. He's so good at graphics. The, color, the Willing color, Bureau? Color. I love the color, man. I drew that. That's a that hand drawing. Willing Bureau? The, yeah, Willing Bureau. Willingbureau.com. You can check out all the- Misanthrope. No, maybe Misanthropic. This is Misanthropics. Yeah, misanthropics. Like, I, like oh, that's I why the glasses are. I haven't seen the album cover yet. I've been wow. taking care of it's old even people. It's better than I it's thought. A... <laughs> it's even better and cooler it's than I levels. thought. Jesus. <laughs> I need to learn to read. I haven't heard it or looked at it yet because I've been taking care of elderly people for two weeks. So. And now grandma's here. And yeah, you just uh, you just jump in both feet. Here's what I okay. Listen, I need yeah, a grandma. So I'm the one, you guys. No, today. I'm the one who gets like I, I, I'm being neglected, but that's fine. No, you're not. I am too. You are and, not. Yeah. So dad and then grandma the next week. You were and you. Uh, you she goes last uh-huh. night. She goes. I need a vacation. <laughs> yeah, that's I a need lot. A vacation. Yeah. It's I'm right, we'll tired. I was thinking today in the bathroom. Like I said, I don't want to be here anymore and then i thought i need a break i just i told you i just want to sit in a room alone mm-hmm. and just stare at the wall i don't think we're going to get that until just for a minute Come yeah we, we keep putting okay, something we new no, no we keep putting something new in front of us mm-hmm. so now so next week which we are which we do have off we're going to be doing sketches for the third sketch show but I love doing that that's right. fun to me that's true mm-hmm. uh yeah so uh titus and bradley coming up get later. those tickets guys uh and thank you for the year of, of doing this we it's so good it's for those of you that can't come see us live to have these shows that you guys can see and uh and then this weekend i will be in san diego on friday at the courtyard yep. spelled with a q huh a hey. that's clever the court <laughs> courtyard the court. i'm not sure why because they didn't put a u it's q a r t that's the 14th, May 14th, two wow. shows, San Diego. I uh, might be sold out. It was I, I like think f- a couple tickets, both yeah. shows from being but, sold out. But Is Santa it? Barbara. I think the second show. Santa, Santa Barbara EOS out. Lounge on May 16th, two mm-hmm. shows. That's a Sunday. You can get your tickets. There's two shows. Two shows on a Sunday is an odd idea. People don't even want to do one show on a Sunday. Right. But sure. Uh, and then you canceled the Desert Spring show. Right. But coming Because I heard it was in a stable. <laughs> it was in Port talked to Fortune about it and, and Fortune, <laughs> Fortune said the audience is great but there was no social distancing and there was nothing oh. and, and, and now they're saying there was a guy it was a couple people that the couple people because the efficacy of the vaccines is the highest is 97% mm-hmm. well that still means 3 out of 100 are still right. going to get COVID but right. even if you get COVID it stops die, yeah. severe uh, disease right. and death 100% uh, also, they actually release it for kids too. Kids can have it now, up to, down to uh, twelve. Did they pass it today? I think they. I think they it's, yeah, they just they announced it uh, recently. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. it was still up for CDC final vote today the, as I was driving. And there. the same amount too. They said it was the same amount. That, so pretty safe. This RNA stuff. Can I tell this story? This is the wait. Finish that sentence. So you canceled that because Fortune said, said. Fortune said. Fortune said the audience was great. It was great to be on stage. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never good. Fortune, I'm never sell out fortune, but she's awesome. She uh, said she, she said she had a great time, but but then she described the gig to me, and I'm like, and okay. you just decided that. Well, life we're doing is too we're short. doing the Brea, we're doing the Brea Improv. That was my point. Month. That next weekend, yeah. we are going to do Brea Improv, which we love. They're still not back at full capacity, but those are some of our favorite people. I've been running a grift on that staff for about six years yeah. now. Yeah. I'm in the back of the room it's not with a, a grift. stack of. Ca- they call me Grifter. That's my nickname. Stack of cash with. Drew, the guy that runs sound, and Mikey, the manager, and we're betting on times. We have a big, giant digital clock in the back, and we're betting on when he gets off stage. We do over-unders. We Mm -hmm. do... Probably this one's going to be a tough one because I have a new show. So I don't know this And I just did I just did um, five shows in um, Jacksonville. Yep. And this new show is really good. Um, Are you over 90 minutes? 
No, that's what no I'm assume. not even an Way hour. Under. I'm not but even I don't hour. know. So this is going to be a. I will be over to about four bet. months from now. I'll start to bump up, bump up. Start, I'm not going to let this one go to ninety. So if you guys are in Brea, just look in the back of the room. I'll be back there with Mikey and Drew and everybody. We'll be uh, holding handfuls of bills. <laughs> ones we're not big so, betters. So I, I, uh, so that is May 28th and 29th. Friday here's the and problem Saturday. with this whole deal is that I get off stage sometimes, <laughs> and my first thing that she and says you have to more me, ideas, so you go back. I'm out. just doing my show. No, no, no. And she's like, she's like, thanks. Thanks. I'm like what? <laughs> they, they, see, I lost twelve That's... bucks. I'm like, what are you talking? I just no, no, killed. No, 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 I no. just killed. I what? have been running their room for five years now. I. They, it's why they call me the grifter. Even shows when you. How many shows have you done in five years? Yeah. Three, maybe four. She's gonna yeah. start coming out with a cane. I, <laughs> I don't know the shows you've done on paper some nights and I still, I just, I, I get a, I get a feeling. <laughs> and so, and then on, just so you guys know, I don't take the money on Sunday night. We usually gift it to the staff or we right, buy right, 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 food right. or something. Um, <clears throat> June 4th through 6th, Addison Improv in Dallas. We haven't done that club in a long time. This is part of you working out your new show. So Dallas, please come out June 4th through the 6th, June Skip that. <laughs> July. Oh. Something just got canceled. That don't even happen. I just, got I a, I just, just had a cold feeling yeah, under me. Uh, felt like, felt like a, I think you it, canceled something because they're not back at full capacity yet. So June 17th, wise guys, we're back in Ogden, Utah. One show only because then on June 18th and 19th, we're going to do the Jordan Landing wise guys, four shows. That's Friday, Saturday, two shows each night. The very Those next weekend, clubs. we're back in Houston. We haven't, we haven't done that club. We've been doing a theater there, Houston improv. So that's 25 through 27, five shows. So come out for those. We love those clubs. We just started doing theaters there, but you wanted to work out your new show. So Dallas, We'll Houston. do. We're gonna do another run next year when this th show is done. We're gonna do another run. This show has a so this show has a different vibe to it. I, you know what's weird is that the first I did it Saturday night, and Saturday night I on the first show I got a partial standing out, and I, really? I've only I've only done the show six I times, and I'm like, what is going on? What is going on? Well, Addison Improv. Um, we have a lot of memories there. Yeah. Yes, that's where my tooth popped off on stage, which I talk about in this show. That's where your tooth popped off. That's where as a I fell down the as steps. an as a feature, I got oh, my first place. standing ovation ever. Yep. Huh. Um that's where we kind of had our first date hangout situation. It's also wow. where you actually went you played uh Halloween there. That's where I had my Halloween the weekend with kids in the audience. and they lied to me and so I flew out and I was performing <laughs> to five year olds. Um, in costume? We have a lot no of shit. memories there, yeah. don't we? Yeah, the club's been there. I I fell I, I fell down the steps there. Remember that? Oh, <gasps> that was the best After night seeing, ever. Is that what happened? No. Ken, I'm like, who he, was that? Dude? I forgot about that. I've told this story before. So I. <laughs> so and you she, couldn't see the lights. She didn't care that I was hurt. It, it, so this club, it's a small old school. It's a very old school kind of improv. Small stage, stairs, dark carpeting, yeah. tables right there, dark and really bright. And they had switched the lighting I, system. Yes, and I and they went to LED, right? They went to bright LEDs, and then they did a- Which is hard. Then at the end of the show, thank you, good night, strobe! Yes. So I go like this, I'm looking at it, and I go, oh, fuck. And I yeah. know, I know- that I'm going down. And you, in your defense, also, you said that I had put you in Barbados shoes and they're wearing, very slick bottom. I was wearing my brand new, my brand new Barbados boots. Yeah. And I was like, oh, and, <laughs> you know, the weird thing is I couldn't fucking see it, and the carpet yeah. was black. I, uh -huh. I never so felt the whole weekend. Just going, so you know. And, and there's like, like a fake painted and trying, steps. And I can't just stop <laughs> and look like <laughs> Donald Trump going down a ramp. So I'm like, all right. So and the then, best moment for me, I had just given him these boots for his birthday or something. We've told this story and I, for years ago. And I, by the way, the whole weekend I never fell and I was in high heels, um, slicked bottom high heels. Um, but I say, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Christopher Titus. And they're like, yeah. And I look <laughs> <laughs> because I hear the dunk dunk, and I look, and his little two boot tips come pointing back towards me because he <laughs> fell down the steps, and his feet came over his head, and those boots still looked good upside down. <laughs> and I made a mean joke about you, and then they ooed me, and mm. I was like, "Oh, yeah. you like certain him. falls are then always I, funny." Then I hopped back up on stage, <laughs> ha ha, and my back was like gnarled. Okay, was certain falls are always funny. True that. Uh -huh. We've shown like my farts. fall from the last sketch show which will be in the next sketch show may 30th yeah you guys will finally get to see you guys miss something randy man. fall it's like at a, the spice basket cafe it's an internet breaking fall that, that it's 
next level. I've we have never every seen time we're like here that. with friends mm-hmm. watched it on repeat. Yes. Equally. The whole time. My sister flew, drove in and she was like, I need to see this fall. It was like her whole reason for a vacation, not a bridal <laughs> shower. <laughs> so let me tell the story about the math. So um, my, I, I realize that sometimes I make judgments about people. So I get on the plane to come home from Jacksonville. Oh, yeah. And there was a, uh, uh, a very beautiful uh, woman uh, sitting next to me. She was a black lady, big glasses on. Uh, and and she, she had a mask on. And I get on, and I go to, I, I, I'm sitting in the window and I go, hey, by the way, uh, she kind of backed away from me. And I said, oh, no, no. I said, don't worry about me. I go, you'll be safe. I, I got vaccinated. And I go, I go, did you get it? What did you get? And this, this is her first words to me. <laughs> she you just goes. assume she got it. Yeah, I assume yeah, she. Which, I which one did you get? Yeah, did you take your mask off? No, no, no. no oh, no. I so just you're don't still... worry about it. Yeah, and I, she goes, "Would it make a difference what I got?" And I was like, "Uh, no." Hmm. I go, "What did you get?" And she goes, "It's not a vaccine. It's RNA. My immune system is fine." Okay. And oh. I was like, I guess I'll be watching the movie the rest of the show and praying to God they don't breathe anything that comes out of your nose, psycho. Yeah, so that's a no. She really needed, okay. she really could have used some feels. Yeah, because, she could have. Tone it down. Wow. A little CBD Especially oil. Especially before a flight. That's right. Feels. You guys get stress traveling? Feels. I didn't even think about that. You can't I, sleep? You know. Feels. You didn't do that last I night? I should have done that last night. Better way to feel better because oh, it's right. I would have done right. it last night, but the feels that was on my nightstand was stolen by <laughs> her. Oh, and she steered it. Because by you. Get your finger it's out you. of my box, it's first you of all. You did it. You, stuck, you took my feels. Survival of the fittest, it's been taught to you in school your whole life. I was out of town. It's not survival of the fittest. You no, stole totally it. No, I totally stole it while you were asleep one night. Well, you Still were not survival of the fittest. <laughs> You're just a criminal. <laughs> You're just stupid, and I can't help that. <laughs> I'm going to try and protect you when Armageddon comes. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, CBD, I love about this because it reduces anxiety, which I have been having a lot of lately. I should have had last night. Pain and sleeplessness, which you had last night. Um, they have a hotline. If you guys have never tried CBD, it's awesome. And they'll just talk to you about whatever questions you have. It's premium. They deliver it directly to your doorstep. It naturally reduces stress, anxiety, pain, and sleeplessness. You just put a few drops under your tongue and... it's. I just, I, about 45 minutes later, I just feel great. I just, you know what it is? I feel calm. That's what it is. I just go, I just notice that I'm like, oh, why do I feel... It, it's so weird to feel good. That I notice it. You know, yeah. <laughs> and you know what the best. I'm like, I'm like hey, this is weird. Why? Nothing's bothering me. That's weird. And that bothers me that nothing's bothering me. Exactly. Thank God. Right. The best thing about it, too, is that there's no hangover, right? There's no addiction. There's no, you know, like used to, I'd be like, oh, I'll have a drink to relax me to go to bed. That right. doesn't work. It totally screws up your sleeping mm-hmm. and everything. So this is really, truly awesome. I did it for my mom when she was sick. Um, you can just join the Feels community. You get it delivered to your door every month. You save money on every order. You can pause or cancel at any time. Um, all you have to do is become a member and get 50% off of your first order. That's F E A. F E A L S dot com slash Titus to become a member, get 50% automatically taken off your first order and free shipping, which will also help reduce your stress. Free and shipping. It, calm, it just calms my brain down a little bit. It really calms my brain down. Feels.com like slash Titus. Yep. You should have done that last night. I should have. I didn't think yeah, about what it. What were you thinking? Super stupid. Um, you need feels for feels. For, so, for feels good. F- focus to get your feels. To so I to would like feels. to actually. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> just stop something. now. It's not going to come around. It's going to back out. It's just <laughs> <laughs> abort, <laughs> abort. <laughs> F-E-A-L-S dot com slash Titus. 50% off your first order and free shipping. Can you read this? Because my mic. Yeah, know, you're squinting. Glasses. I know. Here. Um, go find it, the transcript of the Cheney speech. Okay. This is what she got docked. This is what they drug her and canceled her for. It's crazy what she said because at one point you realize that they have lost their way. In, 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 the Republican Party is no longer. And here's what they're doing. They're actually splitting off. A, a bunch of them are saying, we're going to join it. We're going to form a new party, which means that splits it off even more. Mm-hmm. Okay. So mm-hmm. that's less people to vote for the Republican nominee. Right. And, in 22. And uh, they're also saying, don't wear your mask. Don't get vaccinated. So that's how many people, Republicans, dead now. Now, that are we're not going to be voting for the Republican. So they're basically doing everything they can to make sure they lose for the next two decades. This looks, this sounds and looks like flailing. 
They're just like, this is the last I, I, gasp. It I just, seems like. I just don't understand. Why would you Too bat? many people supporting it to be a last gasp. No, 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 no. They're trying to take the election. They're, they're trying to literally, that's, there's almost 400 pieces of legislation countrywide in the states to actually take away people's right to vote. They know they can't win on policy. It's they, long. Do you want it all? Uh, yeah. I mean, if you want to give it to me, I'll read it. If you want to read it. You can't see it. All right. It's pretty I, long. Are you sure you want it all? It's only two paragraphs. No. Oh, this is not her speech. This is two little pieces they took out of it that right. weren't your favorite parts when we watched it. I pulled up the-, the I pulled it up. Read it. Read it. Because we can <clears throat> comment as we go. We must speak the truth. Our election was not stolen and America has not failed. Stop. Right there. Let's go right there. <laughs> that, just there. <laughs> no, just there. We could have, just there. Oh, that's two sentences. The election wasn't stolen and America has not failed. We uh, uh, we just grew by 6.4% in the first quarter. Well, we've got uh, a third of the country's vaccinated. She's right. She's only speaking the truth. Go on. Mm. And I don't like Liz Cheney. She votes. Every one of us who has sworn the oath must act to prevent the unraveling of our democracy. This is not about policy. This is not about partisanship. This is about our duties as Americans Stop. remaining silent and ignoring the lie emboldens the liar. Burn I, her. I will not exactly. sit back Boo! and watch. In, She's talking about America and truth in the Constitution. Boo! I will not sit back and watch in silence while others lead our party down a path that abandons the rule of law and joins Treason. the former president's Heretic! crusade Boys. Heretic! to undermine black. our democracy. Hoax! Hoax! Aren't you embarrassed? It's not about <laughs> right or wrong, you morons. It's about the focus of our conference. <laughs> she's, oh, she's riffing around oh, it. No, oh. She's riffing around the speech now. <laughs> and now improv Liz Spaney's speech. Go ahead. That's what the sign language person said. <laughs> Today, we face a threat America has never seen before. A former president who provoked a violent attack on this Capitol in an effort to steal the election has resumed his aggressive, aggressive effort to convince Americans that the election was stolen from him and he risks inciting further violence drag her out of here she sucks <laughs> ted crumb do me and ted cruz right now i am a conservative republican right y yay yeah we don't know what to wait, say to this wait. one we're confused <laughs> and dipshits the most <laughs> conservative of conservative <laughs> principles is reverence for the rule of law that was day that was not law hmm. The election is over. That is the rule of law. Boom. That is our constitutional process. The constitution was written by a bunch of socialist freaks. No, that's no. <laughs> I'm a conservative. We don't believe that. Those who refuse to accept the rulings of our courts are at war with our constitution. You got to think that she, she, so, so honestly, if you look at these words, these words are like, mm -hmm. I mean, they're almost like, I mean, I would say, look, I'm not a big fan of Liz Cheney, but I would say put the, that speech next to some of the great speeches. Yeah. And they could. voted her out this morning. Her own party voted her out. That's what I'm saying. People are talking about, man, the GOP's out of their mind. Yeah, but they're fucking themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, it's 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 a self destructive. Well, they, it's an addict they're saying control. that her fight. Some former Bush administration people are saying that her fight. She knows it's not within those walls. It's outside. It's on the streets. She right. is going to become the voice and the face of a movement to save America, right? Mm -hmm. And really save it. Save it from Donald Trump. There's so many Republicans with the polling you know, that they hid at this last convention she about how poorly he's doing with people who have like my grandmother and my dad who have now realized, holy shit. Let me explain yeah. what you're saying. So they had a big meeting. They got all the Republicans together and they were talking about, here's what our plan is for the next two years. And they hid the polling data that showed that Trump is 15 points less popular than they were saying he was. Uh -huh. She brought it up. They now hid it. Out. They didn't, they, they hid, didn't let oh, anybody know about hid it. the data. Oh. Because yeah. they don't deal in facts and truth. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, this is what, what else I want to say to people. If you're having stress and you're having anxiety with everything that's going on, I highly recommend getting a tiny patch of grass yeah. <laughs> and caring for that patch of grass like it's your baby. Well, you have, so in the morning, I get up in the morning uh, uh, after you and you are always in the backyard. Walking around the grass, <laughs> yeah. Birds. Now we have. We now have. And they because, land. They because light. Our grass, they don't the, land. They light on my arms. Because, <laughs> they light. And the bunnies come up and go. I gotta tell you guys. Here's what's happening on Sunday. Lawn service grass now. 
yesterday. I have a picture. Five bunnies, one, one squirrel, squirrel, two birds. Not Chilling separate. together. In a tiny little, like, they're like a gang. Like, they're throwing little, like, three-fingered, like, gang signs. And it the was birds micro- are, like, with their, you know, well, how would a bird throw a gang sign? <laughs> 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 and how would a bunny, what would a bunny look like throwing a gang sign? <laughs> Just ears, just like one ear up and <laughs> yeah, one, one ear, ear half yeah, yeah, down. Exactly. Well, that's like, how you tell which monies are gay. Which half oh. ear down, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, which one is selling drugs? Hey, right ears down. That'll Limp be. eared. Yeah. Got it. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Papa Titus. Exactly. Uh, and then the squirrel, the squirrel, the squirrel's obviously some sort of like hitman. You know what my grandma was so stressed about that the squirrel, when it hangs out with the bunnies, its tail goes arrow straight. She said, I have never seen that. It must be a California squirrel because its tail is like a board behind it instead of oh, doing like this thing. Aroused by a no, bunny? Like a no, hot, hard. sexy female and I bunny? I think, I think he's trying to pretend that he's a bunny. I think he's like, I'm just like you. Oh, he's trying guys. to fit in. <laughs> yeah. I'm eating grass seed, this Sunday grass seed. Uh, can I tell you? They're tell eating this? Sunday grass seed. So what has happened is because yeah. we, okay, so this didn't happen before you got this stuff. It did not. Our lawn has become like this carpet. And and uh, we started to figure out how to get rid of the gophers. They're still showing around, but it, but it, it is not the attack we were getting. Nope. We were getting barraged. But now our lawn is super tasty. It's like a vegan oh. hot bar. Yeah, in exactly. Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. exactly. <laughs> so just all, a the, big salad. all just, the herbivores <laughs> have shown up. Like, yeah. is this the place? Yeah. So they are. And you guys I, been to Titus's? You won't believe you it. You get the front you lawn smoothie. It. Yeah, it's exactly. delicious. It doesn't have that roundup taste because Sundays does nothing in it. It's, it's not you. All natural uh, products. Yeah. You're yep iron and things like oh, what I love about them is that I mostly was thinking about these guys that it wouldn't hurt them but it also the doesn't puppies. hurt the boonies yeah so um, what I love about these guys and I'll say it again is that you're not guessing they're not just sending you stuff they actually take a, a satellite picture of your house yep. they actually do soil research to figure out what you the send soil, your soil analysis what, and they, back. they do a basic thing of what soil in that region mm-hmm. then you have to send them a soil sample then they send you everything in a box yeah. that's exactly in the, in the iron you put now it's not just growing our grass but those bushes next to the grass it's crazy we're yeah. sort of out of control right now with health in the backyard seaweed iron molasses things like that that they have figured out that work that won't hurt the ecosystem <laughs> the house looks better the, the house cars get it like clean my up. grandma <laughs> said that is the greenest lawn I have ever seen she's yeah. very excited about it uh, I left her there in that lawn today she doesn't know I'm gone I needed a break I'm here I needed her She's to come so that I could know everything that's wrong with my house and my life. <laughs> <laughs> she is a little bit snappy. It's funny Within five, She's 87. Within five minutes of her getting here, I texted it to my sister in all caps. I said, this just said, I only have one complaint so far. <laughs> and I was like, it was the so far that really scared me because it was day one and I had just left like my dad, that was. Can we please fine. get some vlogs? I just don't my dad's very chill. What though. I don't understand is that I think she was joking, because you gave her some crap one time about. That. Sure. I think she was joking. Okay. She was not joking, but okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> she wanted me to rearrange the furniture in my guest bedroom because that's not the side that she sleeps on, and she wanted. Oh, that's impossible to move that <laughs> yeah. bed. Okay. I'm Knock this saying. wall down. She's that's, great. Yeah. But here's the thing: when you become 87, you want it. How okay. You want it. I was sitting reclined in a chair. This was right after she said, I only have one complaint so far. And uh, <laughs> I so far, she timed it out too. I was sitting in the chair, totally relaxed. I also had traveled nonstop. My flight was delayed uh, for four and a half hours. I didn't get home till after midnight. I had traveled all day from my dad's. It's a long, it was long, and I had the dogs with me. and. Then I had to pick her up the next morning, and so I was exhausted. And um, so I was lying down, and she said, Rachel, which always <laughs> is very soothing to hear. And I said, Cuts yes, like a knife. Yes, ma'am. And she said, <laughs> Come tie my shoe. And she was in a recliner with her feet up, and she wanted me to get <laughs> tie her shoe. She, At 87. Oh. And uh, she wasn't walking. She wasn't going anywhere. She's going to stay in the recliner. <laughs> she just didn't yeah. like that her shoe was untied. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that no one's going to be there to tie my shoe at 87. So what we he said last night, he said- She goes, you have me. I go, no, no. You're going to be sitting in another recliner going, 
Tie my shoe. And then he goes, I'll be going, tie my shoe. So, <laughs> and they're tied much. together. Yeah. <laughs> so she loves the lawn and elderly people tell are very how, picky. And that's what I'm saying. Tell them how to get it because the dark it's dark green and lush. Man, we haven't had, we, we when we first moved into this house, the lawn had bare patches and it was empty. I'm not BSing. Yeah, like, we bad. only use stuff that we, we, we only sell stuff that we use. This stuff, we had bare patches. We had big chunks of lawn missing. We got this stuff, seated it, and I, well, I walked out when you were, when I, crazy, before you got actually. home, and I was like, "This we're awesome. There's no holes. It's perfect." Yeah. I sent my brother a picture of it from the side, and I said, "Like carpet." My brother goes, "You need to get a you need to get a life." That like, is a life. <laughs> and, and that's to, what I said. <laughs> and to get a lawn to look like that in in Southern California, yeah. in the Possible. valley. Well, man. you know what's interesting is you can choose feat. from the grassy that you get from Sunday, and um, I chose the one. You choose the one for your region, and mine is drought proof. Like they create this grass seed specifically for our climate, oh, wow. which is drought all the time, right? right? Yeah. And so it's crazy. It, it You see little hairs first and it grows like crazy. Anyway, awesome. so let it's them the take the guesswork. I thought we well, were Well, no, we totally segued to grandma and her shoe. Right. Let Sunday take the guesswork out of getting your lawn looking awesome like ours. We need to post that picture. I keep saying I'm going to do that. And it's it's we're going into spring. This is the time to do it. We're hitting growth season. I only know that because I looked at my Sunday profile. Visit Get Sunday dot com slash Titus to get twenty dollars off your custom lawn plan at checkout, and that's twenty dollars off your custom plan at getsunday dot com slash Titus. Titus is back. Yeah, uh, got, we had Chip Foos here last week. That I was know. that was nice. It How was good. Was the a, boys are uh, back a together. Lot of people, a lot of people dug it. Uh, you know, he's just he's such a he's, a lot of people dug a, it. What was the bet? There was I didn't I saw a tweet about it about Sinatra hat. Oh, so I told the story about Charlie Sheen. We took the picture of Charlie Sheen, and he said oh, he was right. wearing. He, I said he showed up okay. in a fedora, and she goes, "No, he showed up in a baseball." Was cap. Chip I said, there that day? Yeah, that all those Ch- Troy Trepanier, all these hot rod oh, guys were oh, there. Oh. And I said, "No." So the bet. Oh, we have to find those pictures. Well, people are asking. They want to know the bet. I said Sinatra had. And how much was the money you betted? Because someone said, and was Hondo? Ray Ray okay with Hondo? you making that bet? That sounds, that sounds right. Are you lying right now? No. Because no, I, I wouldn't care it, about a hundo bet, 50, but I would be like, really upset about a I thousand just, I just know my memory, so I would, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> so and like, does he know you don't pay bets? I do pay bets. You paid me one in our whole relationship, and it was after I announced on the podcast that you don't pay bets. And because we had said that it on not, air, when? he paid me <laughs> that one time, remember? That is not and true. And whatever that bet was, yeah. he gave me the problem is. I shamed always, him into no, it. No, you always shade the bet. So like, that's not the, exactly yeah, what no. happened. It's either yes or no. Right. And you don't do that. You're going, no, here's why I won because it, and then there's a list of excuses. There's no excuses. No. I had a clean There's bet. only one answer to a bet. Exactly. Yeah, did it happen or did it not? No. So I like the, the bet with my buddy and my See buddy Rick. Doing? My buddy Rick. See, Rack. You can't. My brother Rick. <laughs> my buddy Rick. We had a bet about the. Yeah, but, he said Trump's going to win. I was like, that's I'll because bet you. you respect Rick more I because bet he's you. a man. I do not respect anybody more than you in the world. <laughs> Uh, but Rick, uh, I bet him. And then he said, he goes, man, looks like he's going to win. You, and I said, you want to double it? And we doubled it. To, it was $2,000. And I won. I did not approve and this. Then, right. And I did not and know then, about this. Right. I made him pay me. <laughs> and had I known about it, I would have been like, whatever. Because if he loses, he won't pay it. Um, I would have paid it. To Rick, I would have paid it. Yeah, you would have had to because he would have sent him <laughs> yeah, to the Yeah, house. that would have been. Or Feely. Feely would have <laughs> yeah. showed up like, hey, you need to be the right bit. I'm going to kill you. Ah, Feely would have very happily been an <laughs> yeah, assassin. Yeah, exactly. He's a happy assassin. Um, yeah, I didn't know about that bet until after we got that FedEx envelope with the little child's pink beanie and $2,000 cash in it. But Because um, <laughs> my boy Rick's. Is, is I legit. don't shade bets. It's a yes or no. It's a yay or nay. It's either or. And it's just that you don't pay bets. And now that, that we is have not brought true. light to it on this podcast, not true. you are sweating a little bit. And what I like that. What bet have I not paid? All of them. No. From the beginning <laughs> of time. Can't identify it. And when it's we all first got together, he uh, he would be like, oh, that's not true. I'll bet you $20. And I would be like, Oh, so you're just okay. kind of flippantly, it's a thing. Like, no. it's not a real bet. It's like a, well, I'll just it would gentlemanly progress bet. Because I would get more and more. What is, what is gentlemanly <laughs> bet? <laughs> you know, that's not a uh, thing either. <laughs> 
It was a weird shaky. It was, it was, it's jazz. Or... He, 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 he jazz handed it. How does a Broadway this dancer? Is a bad, we're doing a bad <laughs> now. We're razzle this, dazzle. This is legit. You got to pay off if you lose. <laughs> How does a Broadway dancer Rockets. throw gang signs? <laughs> Go. I'm not doing it. I am. I am not a monkey for you. Well, he. he uh, it's all right. Uh, no, they were real, and then there was more angst over the many years, mm-hmm. and then it culminated in that day that I announced it, and then he paid a bet. I got a hundred dollar bill for that bet, whatever it was. <sighs> I always pay my bets. Period. Look in the camera and know that I always Jesus, pay my bets. No, know, know that Jesus can see you sometimes, <laughs> and that my mom can hear you. I always pay bets. You say it. I always pay them to Rachel, all the bets I've made with her. Every bet I've ever pay, made with <laughs> Rachel, I have paid in some form or the other. <laughs> oh. so, there's an out clause. Over there's not an out clause. It's, it's not, it's so, there's, there's an asterisk. <laughs> <laughs> or an asterisk, as he would say. She would not be snuggling your windscreen <laughs> at any time. It's not an asterisk? <laughs> that was right. You said okay, it okay. right. All right. Thank God. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I, today I went and got my, uh, live scan. I have to do a background check. So right. yesterday I, I, it I did sounds my... medical. It freaks me out a little bit. Live scan. I know. No. Um, yeah. so I have to go enter my fingerprints oh, okay. into the database and they do a live scan thing. Are you for... getting arrested for something? I'm doing or... DOJ no. and FBI background checks to do this CASA foster child We all know she's been an assassin thing. for a long time. Listen, but now this is what I'm Project Adventure. This is what I'm worried about. Um, because, you know, if they found your fingerprints at certain crime scenes, mm-hmm. but you have not yet been entered into the database because you haven't been caught you for have any new crimes. Ones, though. You got new ones with Project Adventure. The problem is you've on. never been at a crime scene. I mean, you, you sure? were. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I, like a few times. No, you, they, your friends Except tried to kill, kill you clock. once. Your friends tried to kill you, roll you up in a carpet, and get rid of your body one time until you woke up, thank God. Well, that was just a party. It was just a fun. Thank you. you know, they, dude, you heard this over. story, right? Oh, this is real? <laughs> Wait a second. No, they, yeah, but you're right. I, it actually I, I was stole, a party. In fact, I did a Felicia Michaels, uh, the, she does a podcast where you, you tell a true story and a lie, and then they have to pick which one is which. And I told this story as it was mine. I told this story as it was mine, and they believed it was a true story. She had friends. Oh, did you win? Like they picked that one because you had so many details. They said that was the real, yeah. She said, she, basically her friends, she came home uh, high as hell, passed out. No, I didn't come home. I was in a nightclub. Okay, you, and then they, they took you home. You don't know how you ended up in Well, home. they broke down the bathroom stall door in a very popular nightclub in Louisiana to get me well, out. there's an oxymoron. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to say like Studio okay, 54. Every of... night, that's what it was called, actually. What? what? Yeah. It's called what? Studio 54. Um, it was. 54. <laughs> 50. 50. Uh, 50 every nightclub in Louisiana is popular because there ain't yeah. shit there's else one. to do. Right. <laughs> um, I, we don't need to rehash this. No, no, but her friends, anyway, no, we do need the to rehash point a being, bit. uh, I wrote a bit about this and I did not have the talent to tell the story on stage yet. And so I never put it on stage. I did a few jokes about it. That's a good one for this new show. That's I good... said, uh, w- w- so what happened was this, let's just tell what the story. Was the joke I used to do. This is how little right. comedy I have in my head anymore. I'm not a comedian anymore. Hi. <laughs> um, it's going to be this week though. A stripper, uh, <laughs> that's what a girl so, with a so pole does with no jokes. She was passed out. They brought her home, put her to, to, to the apartment, w- put her in the tub, washed her, washed her hair. Basically, they're it getting rid of evidence. It was one guy. It was one guy. My friends actually, in their defense, went to Who? a different house party oh, and okay. left me. So yeah, so guy one guy was stripped like... her naked and washed her. I don't even know. He was know. my boyfriend. I... It was my, it was, I was oh, a Cosby thing. Oh, it sounds a little Cosby. No, I was dating him. He's wearing a sweater, like a little bit. striped sweater. No, he's Air Force guy, Wayne. He was my boyfriend. Blue dryer hair and then put her, oh, wrapped her up no, in a carpet. They sat you up and he, wrapped he, her up in a carpet naked. And well, rolled I, her up. I in woke carpet. up rolled in he a, a serial comforter killer now. like a burrito. Uh, uh, that's what you do. For real, you, he fireman carried. Car. Yes. So, no. Yes. It, okay. He Im- tried to embalm I, you. Exactly. <laughs> when you had an IV, and it's connected to started him. to feel a problem coming on. I got downstairs. Was, the club was actually Havana at that time. It wasn't Studio 54 yet. It was Havana. And I got downstairs into the bathroom stall. There were only three stalls in a packed nightclub. And, on ice. Um, the last thing I remember was I had to pee and I had to throw up and I started doing both maybe and that was it. The next thing I remember, I guess I went backwards over the turlet and um, they broke the door down because people were complaining that some girl wouldn't come out of the stall and they needed to pee. And they broke the door down and I remember 
I had I, I had two two boyfriends at the time. So the other one, not Wayne. The other but, one of them Matt, got angry. He was also oh. in the Air Force. <laughs> and I remember Matt standing over me, and I remember him saying, "Oh my God, Ray." And that's the last thing I remember. Do you have a mystery scar? A like day and a half later. Oh, okay. No, but there's a mystery <laughs> child somewhere <laughs> yeah. of whatever happened that night. So they tried to kill you. No. I mean, no, sorry. They tried to hide your body. But that one boyfriend with my other girlfriends, they all went to a different party. And Wayne, um, the, the people that owned and took the IDs and the money at the club and managed it, they knew me. Everybody knew me. And, um, so, and the cops hung out there. The cops that... I ended up being very good friends with that tased you. Um, and so they hid me in a, they put me in a chair by the front door and everyone stood in front of me while the cops were walking around doing their rounds. And then Wayne fireman carried oh. me to his car and took me to his house. And that's when he proceeded to clean the so DNA. So they hid you it where DNA a dead and the body. fingerprints from your body. No, honey, I love you. I just need to get all the evidence off of you. I woke up, I think You're, like- And hair follicles and, clean. and carpet, sh- and carpet I think it was fibers. Like 36 hours later, I woke up. Wow. I G'd out Holy pretty shit. hard. Yeah. They thought you were dead. 36 I hours. I was wrapped in a comforter like a burrito. Like I couldn't move. <laughs> it was all very caring and nurturing until the carpet <laughs> getting rolled up. That's you where the... It. Well, it was, it was comfortable, but you don't roll... You put them in bed and you let them sleep it off if they're not... If you don't think they're dead. Right. You get ready to transport a body. That's how you wrap it up because it's a lot easier to take to the I guess when I was car. passed out, you know, you're still vomiting when you G out and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so that's why he had to give me a... Yeah, so always always good, by the way. When you're <laughs> vomiting, make sure you wrap somebody in a comfortable so they're really tight and it stays inside there. Yeah, so they can choke on it. Jeez. Was there duct tape around your... Yeah, exactly. No, okay. No, but I was wrapped in plastic sheeting. Yeah, you very what? Very uncomfortable. Hey, no. no. Okay. It was very uncomfortable. <laughs> sweaty. I was sweaty. I partied a lot back then, and I don't need You were more. swaddled. You were I being swaddled no like a baby. I have no parties anymore. <laughs> I don't party ever. Uh, I go to old people's houses and take care of them and their animals, and... And you stress more. And I stress you more. You need to party more. Maybe I should party more. Hmm? Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if you party, here's what you need. You need okay. to have some sort of recovery. Okay. Right? Okay. So when if I party really hard, I always have two liquid IVs before I go to sleep. Mm-hmm. You do? I do. Mm-hmm. That's good. No. 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 <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and, now, and, and now, guess the advertiser with Christopher Titus. Okay. Speaking of burritos. Um, I will tell you this. So uh, I was dating these two guys at the same time, and they were both in the Air Force um, in different departments. You hope. <laughs> so they said. I thought you She was dating Maverick and Goose. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, and How the hell did she end up with me? So bodybuilders, like I'm just a dork. <laughs> so I <laughs> no comment. She the didn't, day she didn't after deny it. I am so trying to segue. Uh, the day after I partied super hard at any given time, especially you know whatever I was doing. I don't want right. to say what I was doing before this ad, but the next day I would be very hungry and I would not have eaten very much. So and I remember good. Wayne, he always had money and he would take me to this steakhouse and I would order whatever Let's I land wanted. land that jet. This Here we go. And Long I, road. <laughs> and I could never come up with those recipes on my own. Ding, 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 and that's ding, ding, why ding, ding. I never Wow, well, you could have gone through every advertiser and we had. I, no, here point. I am. I couldn't come up with the recipes on my own. So basically they sent you like, so you so we would okay. have Great. At the time, had you had a, some sort of prepackaged thing, or where a you job could have eaten, right? To or a job, right? Money, kind of like right. an MRE. <laughs> so what company? Yeah. Would we couldn't you, even afford so money. So what company would you use if you were going to do that? <laughs> couldn't even afford money at all. <laughs> so for, <laughs> couldn't I, even afford money. You can't afford money. Well, that's part of the problem. Right. <laughs> but if I could have afforded money, money is expensive. Money is a lot. It costs a lot <laughs> it is of money. So expensive. <laughs> money expensive. And the more you want, the more expensive. The more, right. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you guys get it. So you like something better and something fresh. I do. Yeah. And I like it to say hello. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Did it land? Is yeah. It, yeah. Okay. You're so, the, so I'm going to guess. Cockpit, gonna, are we taxiing? I'm going to okay. put a wild guess on okay. this uh, because the food that we had was, so this is hello fresh. Yay. It, wow. Opa. That was the longest road. I, by the way, we have to close the podcast now because <laughs> Good night, just, everybody. <laughs> just welcome to the tightest advertising podcast where we, <laughs> <laughs> where we desperately um, scramble. <laughs> You uh, so we I love that you kept the recipe because later on we just happened to have the ingredients around you made that chicken again. Listen, I made that panko chicken. I made that panko crusted parmesan chicken right. for my dad because every because my dad lives out in the middle of nowhere on horse property and so I'm cooking 
every breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I stood on mm-hmm. my feet mm-hmm. for seven days straight. Mm-hmm. And I made that chicken that I learned how to make on HelloFresh. Yep. That is one of our favorite recipes that they do for my dad. And my dad loved it. My dad called my stepmom, told her about it. And then she came home and said, well, how did you make it? Because your dad said it didn't dry out. You baked it. And I said, oh, well, the secret is you got to do sour cream in right. between. And it was because but, I took a picture of this recipe card and took it with me. But not only do they send you great food, everything we've had from them every Stupid single good. time. Stupid like That's good. what made us go back is that, 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 yeah. that every, the, they sent us the first three. We had those and we're like, holy crap. Everything after it, the food is so great. I love that you give, if you like something, and let's say you can't order it right when you you have this stuff to make something that night. You still have the recipe. They co- give you these huge. They're like yeah, huge, yeah, full yeah, color. Yeah. So it's it's like a photograph it's recipe a double. cards. I keep all of those in my mom's recipe book. But the convenience of it is insane. It's not the same as getting it from it them is not because true, no. they've already shopped and sourced it, and it's cheaper and it's prepackaged and separated. But they also don't improv with the ingredients. Their ingredients are exactly yeah, it's perfect. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Some of the best food we had we've had in a long time. And honestly. I will tell you guys, a lot of people have been writing and in, into the Titus podcast that gmail and asking like which one should i get honestly every single one we've tried has been so good and really surprising like even the descriptions were like well we don't really eat pork and that's a pork burger those pork those burgers were so were, stupid yeah i was mad I, again i will say this about better uh, um hella fresh every time i finish i ask for more mm-hmm. and you say we've only ordered it for two people so order for four. People. Yeah, exactly. that's what I started doing the last time, and that's the key. Um, so go to HelloFresh.com slash Titus12. That's Titus12, and use code Titus12 for 12 free meals. And I did this, including free shipping. I just actually did this to see if it worked, and it did because it seems so crazy. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Titus12 and use code Titus12 for 12 free meals, and that includes free shipping. It's America's number one meal kit. There's a reason why. Yep. And also get crazy. Try something that you wouldn't normally try, and always they'll tell you- Because they've worked it out. They worked it out. Yeah, and they'll tell you which ones are like the most popular meals. People are not wrong. There's a reason. We never would have tried- pork burgers with sriracha mm. onions except no. they that's one of our favorite things so mm-hmm. try it give it a shot um uh so uh, let's do some news let's do a little bit of news go to the news and let's find out something let's find us something goofy I, I, we have not done enough goofy on this podcast lately you don't think today's been goofy at all it's been a little goofy uh, we, welcome back rachel yeah. you guys are like i'm what just is- saying that it seems like we've been we were oh so- i didn't even finish telling you about phil and bobby i started to say i did my oh, life right, scan yeah. background right, check. you guys oh, somehow yeah. ended on project adventure then i'm drugged and rolled in a carpet which <laughs> didn't need to be brought up <laughs> Um, nice person wow. now, not that person so much. Although you both have recommended I become that person again to get rid of my stress. So right. remember that when it happens, ten weeks mm-hmm. from now when you can't find me. Well, I, I can call Ken and <laughs> help me get rid of the body instead when of when I'm in the parking yeah. lot across from Sun Cafe yes. <laughs> in a when camper. I, <laughs> <laughs> when I see these extra carpets come in here, sometimes yeah, 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 yeah. oh, who, who was that for? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I got my. So you went done. to someone's house to get your ID, so, ID but checked. They, so CASA, the government program that I'm going to be working or volunteering with, gave me this guy to go to on Wilshire Boulevard, which would have been reputable. And I chose instead to go to an elderly Jewish couple in Tarzana mm-hmm. because that's how I roll. Mm-hmm. And uh, she kind of yelled at me yesterday on the phone, which wasn't my favorite part. I yelled back. And you and still went. I that wasn't her going. favorite part. Well, I felt like it had become a challenge between me and Bobby and I needed to settle the score. And I wanted to see her, wanted to be like, because then we'd know who won once we saw each other. I clearly won. She's old and Hi, she's Bobby. in a bad wig. <laughs> I'm the one you yelled at. <laughs> you don't mess with a notary. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. and they also they are, do they notary. Got stamps. I yeah. told him, I go, babe, they also do notary. They're only a, out a mile and a half from our house. And he goes, or we could go somewhere else. And I go, <laughs> yeah, no, we'll go here because Phil and Bobby. They're like, sure, you want to get your ID checked. Boom. Is that what you want? All right, step over here. <laughs> so I show up, but they're obviously like, you know, those people that they've had their house for a really long time. They've mm-hmm. got a guest house in the back, but they never use air conditioning. So it's 172 yes. in there. Cost money, business. air conditioning. Yes. Cost a lot of money. And first of all, it's unnatural. The world works a certain way. And what happens is you actually let the world let you be hot, let you be cold. You live with it. Can that's I, how it goes. You park you? around the back and then you come yeah, through. Exactly. That's what I had to do. Room, that's what I had to do. Yeah. Go around the back. I, he actually 
told me to go by There's the Burgundy ramp. Camry. Come up the rickety ramp. Then go up by the laundry room, go past the Burgundy Camry, and then you're almost Around there. The dumpster. That's what he Around. told me. You're almost there. You're almost so there. Can I ask you a question, Phil, about your shoes? Yes. <laughs> they also do show shoe shining. <laughs> and Why are they so big with such thick black rubber on the bottom? Because you and never Velcro. know when there's going to be a tsunami. <laughs> okay. So you have to have high shoes so when the water hits, you can get away. So I walk And not in. get your shocks wet, because the worst thing, you get sick from wet shocks. Shocks? Red shocks. shocks. Red shocks. When your shocks get wet, you need big shoes to not get your shocks wet. Okay. Well, I'm really hot. Are you laughing at me or with me? <laughs> okay. I'm really hot, Phil. You uh, are hot. I saw that when you came in. Had I been not married to Bobby, oh, I would be on you. Bobby is very <laughs> angry with you, Phil. She has yelled at you since I got here. So I walk up the little tiny steps. She opens the door and she goes, stop. And I went, oh, okay. And she goes, Put these on before you can come inside. <laughs> She's going to de-louse you. She's got <laughs> booties. <laughs> booties. First we do a silkwood shower. Then we booties. can take your fingerprint. The COVID on comes on the shoes. Skull flip-flops. I had to put booties on over them. And a, and a gown. They're both in hospital gowns. Like they're fighting the COVID. But they Still. got them on backwards. And they're hanging down the front. But their arms are kind of halfway in them. She's bald. She's got on this weird kind of Jerry Lee Lewis wig. It's the weirdest shit ever. It's 172 degrees. At one point I was sitting there thinking, I'm just going to stand up like William Wallace and tell these motherfuckers fuckers i'm out of here <laughs> i am like all i needed was my fingerprint done but they wanted they want to talk and mm -hmm. they want to talk about everything you and what up. he wanted to show talk. you came in with that hair is that real <laughs> yes is that hair real no it's mine because bobby take yours off for a second she wears <laughs> it like a baseball cap she did <laughs> yeah by the way if he pulls it off first it makes a noise <laughs> it's pretty nice i like it they don't like each other so they argued the whole time they, they don't yelled like at me you, Phil, yell dish, at me. Dish, me and Bobby, it. let me tell you, it's not dislike. Okay. It's pure hatred. It's <laughs> okay. Pure, well, you, you've been married 65 years, you'll yeah. get the hatred. Okay. And but the, who else is going to fuck me? And Okay, nobody <laughs> is right now at all, Phil. I'm pretty sure Bobby's not either. Um, I wouldn't call it that. And then you told me- Sweet love, we say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're not getting- <laughs> that was kind of how it was. It was exactly, he would say something and she would yell back. <laughs> and then the phone would ring and he'd be like, answer that. And she'd be like, I don't want to, why do I always answer the phone? These people argue with me. For God's sake, she's a tall drink of water and I'm looking at the chest. Answer the phone. So he did do that. And then you have to do different fingers at different times and then you got to do these. And so he got out. I got to get the ink ready. <laughs> He got out. What do you mean you don't have the ink? I oh, forgot <laughs> shit. It's not ink. It's a scan, you morons. And he got. Yeah, out. we updated. We <laughs> updated. We're now up to 1997 with the scanning. He got out the wipes, and he started wiping one finger, your finger, at a time. But he made her take a call, and I was like, "What are we doing?" And then he goes, "You could have wiped." And him then off. he mo. Yeah, no. I got the wipes right Not at Phil and Bobby. First of all, there's a right. There's a government mandated procedure for wiping of the fingers. <laughs> I have been trained. They told me how to wipe the fingers. You start with the with, with, with the pinky. This is what then you did. go to the second. Then you go to third. Then thumb. And then you go wee 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 all the way home. <laughs> and, then, and then after he wiped them all one by one, he went. To, to he waved me, your own to hand. Tell me no to tell how me. He demonstrated. Yeah. So First then, of all, so then I did it with him. By the way, the way you're doing that, not right. Wave in front of your face like that. There you go. Bye bye. And then he would hold Did my hands. Did you do another pass wave? <laughs> hold on, she's saying goodbye to herself, waving. Get the, get the, okay, now we're going to do this. I, this is exactly what I <laughs> dealt with today. It's pretty terrifying that you can, both of you actually, <laughs> Phil and Bobby, you guys have on lock. May I say? <laughs> May I say? It's pretty terrifying. So we'll know probably. Sure, so if you've committed any murders, we're going to find that out. Probably within three and a half years. <laughs> and The boys, they roll the women in the carpets. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, we got something. We found your fingerprints from a long 
long time ago in Louisiana. You've been to Louisiana? No. Uh, Corpus Turns no. out, yes, there's your Vienna. I've never been. You were naked in a comforter. No. And we've arrested a young, young man from the Air Force. <laughs> Boy, he is flexy. Which one? <laughs> he was handsome. <laughs> They're handsome with the abs of a Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Oh, 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 you uh, talked about a Schwarzenegger. No. Oh, yeah. He told me, he goes, what are you going to do? Uh, oh, because he is also a notary. You guys were right. And he got called to, well, uh, Bruce when he was Bruce Jenner. Uh, you know, when he was Bruce. And she goes, remember when he was Bruce? And <laughs> Let me tell you, that guy could throw a javelin. Now he had his javelin cut off. <laughs> He said, he said, he said, and now he is not Bruce. And she goes, can you believe that a man that could run so fast would become a woman? <laughs> and I was like, but that's, that? it doesn't have anything to do with each other. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's crazy. The guy with the pole vaulting, that was in, in a woman. And then, so. He the the went, Catalan, you know how many that is? He it's went 10 to different Calabasas to Chris Jenner's house five different times to notarize things. And because the TV show was filming, he had to sign a release as Fat Man in the Red Shirt. And he was offended. <laughs> Here's the thing. Sure, I'm a little older. I've, they named I've him. put on a couple of pounds. They named him before they, it aired. Sure. And the first nickname I ever got was from that bitch, Bruce Caitlyn Jenner. She called me Fat Man in Red Shirt. And you know what? I was First of all, it was Burgundy. Second of all. Second of all. You need to take it easy on all of the sweets. Listen, you quit. You make, you make the kamush with the chachem, and then that fills, fills me up. You need to get the Time. Maybe you should. If you knew so much salt, I wouldn't be fat man in the red shirt, <laughs> and it was burgundy. <laughs> I can't believe this was your life today. And he brought up Schwarzenegger. I go, well, now <laughs> she is a she. Stop saying he, and she's running for governor, which I'm not a fan of. And he was like, "What are you gonna do? We had the man Schwarzenegger. He killed the predator." <laughs> <laughs> and I, I and I was wondering if that was in a movie, and I thought it was. That the, you don't know that movies, There yeah. was a predator. The, there was actually a movie, movie called mm -hmm. Predator. One. And predator I thought about Anderson. you guys, yeah, and I was gonna yeah, ask yeah, four or five you. Of them. But he was very offended that a governor that we had killed a predator, and then Jerry Brown, he'd go away. He he come back 30 years later and he had a lot of opinions about what did he, do, did he say about Gavin oh can't stand him we this could, guy with the hair slicked back you know what he is he's a used car salesman he said we could but he did not kill Predator he said Caitlyn Jenner but it's not Caitlyn you know who it really is oh that's what he wow. said oh because he threw the javelin and he jumped so far how could he be a woman he actually yeah. said that to me do you know what's crazy and then he goes I'm not Javelin he could not <laughs> because a woman would never do that he could not be any he worse. did the long jump he did what they, when they throw the heavy thing he jumped on the thing then he flipped off the, the pole he hole. said he could not possibly be any worse than what we have he yeah he could oh yeah he could we, <laughs> haven't, we learn, haven't we learned that I said. by the way we have the lowest just so everybody knows we have the lowest covid uh, by the way, infection can we rate just stop as in I the just, country by the way you both Thank you. thank you very much. Thank, 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 thank you thank you bobby phil bobby <laughs> phil you guys really wow it's i wish you could see how well you reenacted that you guys will never know you made it more funny for me that time it wasn't as funny the first no time. when you go first of all you go in anybody's old person house it smells like them they have forgotten what oh, that yeah. smells like so you're already they're, like they're okay what, to it. Yeah, what yeah, am yeah. i breathing in now <laughs> then you're like oh my god then they're like racist and weird they're racist mm -hmm. and uh, I homophobic anything. they made me put three masks on and a gown and, and still booties. I had to put booties on. So I go inside <laughs> and I look at the floor thinking they've got white mm -hmm. carpet and they're mm -hmm. old people. It was linoleum. They had Filthy. linoleum and then mm -hmm. they had those um, plastic elderly people matting things everywhere that yeah. you roll on like the uh, the office rolly matting wow. thing. Did they want to make you food? And like I think they thought, I think it was a COVID thing. I think mm -hmm. they thought that I would bring COVID in on my shoes. Have they not 
I mean, they're, they, they're elderly. It's, it's weird. They to weren't me. that elderly. Why they were younger pe- than grandma. By why a long are people shot. so dumb about this vaccine? It's not. They don't put virus in you. There's no. I mean, they are. I mean, the Moderna and the Pfizer. I don't get it. Science kicks ass. I love that people can deny science. You know, walk around with these phones that can literally mm-hmm. talk to a satellite above you that can mm-hmm. track you on GPS that can do everything. No, that's that where can, they complain about. You being tracked by the virus. I, I, but I'm just saying that this is science. Science did this. But and I'm all saying the cool shit on we have, this thing yeah. that everywhere you take it, not only does it track you, but it also pings off of cell towers. And your watch can mm-hmm. also send, mm-hmm. send you. You go on this phone to go on Facebook and TikTok and I've Instagram. Done this. this is my whole new show. You're doing my show right now. Well, this was my complaint to you. Did you put it in your show? No, I've been talking about this for since it happened. You stole it because you steal everything I, I say. I did not. No, I did not. I, did, I just long bit in the, in the new I show. I tweeted about this months ago. I did That too. you can't go on. How do you go on Facebook and then go to complain that the vaccine. How do they know on. about me, man? They have, they have pictures. Of, they tweet. have pictures of my bachelorette party. And let's see when you where started I, your new show. It's like at one point you go, yeah, you fucking posted them. And tagged yourself you take, in say, the picture. They know your friends. They know your family. What are you doing? Yeah, no, you got to see the bit. On April 1st. Your car. I tweeted. Your car, everything's yeah, tracked. It wasn't months ago. It was April 1st. It's a month and 11 days ago. Your first show was in May. This month we're in. I wrote the show before that, you moron. No, you didn't. I did. What was the date he performed it? What was the date? Wait, is this... Uh, it was April It was April 1st weekend. Apologies in advance. For April 1st weekend. April Fool's weekend. No. Yeah. No. Because <laughs> I wrote this. I wrote this before April 1st. You steal. You steal. <laughs> Uh, Ken, what was the date? You did all the I, graphics I know, for it. But Somebody at home, help us. What was the date? Nope. What was the date? Hold on, I'm going to tell don't you. Know. I, I, by the way, Ken, we put so much on Ken that it's a, that, that Heinler even actually has There's any so concept. many dates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the same with shows. People go, uh, mm-hmm. but you know what? The best answer for that was Bruce Springsteen. Someone came, it was backstage, uh, a friend of mine who met him told me. And, uh, April 24th. He April brought 24th. His, so that's when I did the show. Yep. So I had the show, I started writing the show in March. Two days before we know no. how you work. <laughs> <laughs> like behind the not door sure that is before you walked sure. out. You're like, I got an idea. And we know <laughs> how was, you work. I was punching up that day though. Uh, uh, so, uh, that's my thing. And that uh, I just want to say this really quickly. Um, a We saw this last night and I said to you, why are we not talking about this more for messaging? A black woman developed the technology oh, yeah. to create the Moderna vaccine. Yep. A black woman, mm-hmm. right? That would actually lighten people up a little. She, yeah, she's not. She's not part of Tuskegee experiment. She's not right. going to mess with you. She, yeah, yeah. And I love that too. And I just want to throw this out there because I feel like we don't appreciate this enough. Every day, it's, it so gets glossed over, of course. But we have a female vice president. I just mm-hmm. wanted to say that again. We have a mixed race Asian female. Vice That's president. just a bonus. Yep. That's just a bonus because who knew that we would ever have a female vice president, let alone and. Pacific Asian, a black woman, a intelligent human being. Those three things have never happened in one place at once. Yeah. Um, so maybe next president. But I say that I go, but here's the thing. You won't take the shot that's been proven in 130 million people mm-hmm. vaccinated. Mm-hmm. You won't take that, but you'll put silicone in your boobs, mm-hmm. plastic in your pecs, and butt implants. Mm-hmm. That's fine. But you won't take a shot, you morons. Morons. It, it makes me. That's a good point. Aren't, this is coming from the same people who You'll probably have shoot Botox. metal in their head and oh, shoot yeah, Botox totally. like, into your face, dots. a hip replacement thing, botulism in your face mm-hmm. to get rid of wrinkles. But you won't take a vaccine to save your own life. Are you a moron? And also, I just want to say, I said Pacific Asian because I can't think faster than I speak, but it's South Asian. But you know what I mean. You take aspirin more than anything. Right? We have all those things in the office, and I and nobody talks about it day to day at all. Right. Never. We women, holy shit! Like it's it, we're being celebrated, or we should be celebrated every day. We have a vice president who is a woman, and. You it's can not take a that thing. another way, though. That, it's not a thing. That, that that it's not a thing. But that's, that's like, hey, that's I was what I'm gonna, saying. About to say yeah, it. it's kind of a good thing because we're just no one's like you're not hearing about. I can't believe we have this one. Right. No, they've tried. They've tried. But here's the good news: nothing's sticking. I don't think it's a good thing. I think that all no, other, we are celebrating it though. I don't think so. I mean, I don't see it a lot as a woman. I don't hear about it, and sometimes I'll be reading the news and go, "Wait a minute, we have holy shit." But Kamala what we're Harris. saying is this: isn't it better? 
that we've just become accepting of it. Because Pelosi's been in power for so long. I think we're getting to a place where it's not the one thing. Pelosi's been Speaker of the House for a long Vice time. Vice President of the United States of America. I know. It's a great, it's a big, yeah, but no one celebrated. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying that. I'm saying that it's a good thing that we're used to it. If we weren't used to it, then it would be a shock. I think Obama freaked people out. That's it would help yeah, people like I don't black president. Oh, they lost their shit. If this were the fifties or you know right. some other, then do you think it's not the fifties for women? Um, so I, you ways. know, it's kind of always been the fifties for women. Yeah, it's true. never not yeah. the fifties. My grandma, <laughs> good point. It's the fifties in my yeah. house right now. Yeah. My grandma, I'll do something, and then she comes up today and thanks him. And everything's I go, plastic Why are covered you when you get home. Him. So to the point now where grandma, like I go, I go, grandma, do you want me to set the umbrella up outside so you can sit outside? No, I'm fine, thank you. And then uh, and Rachel, then, goes, so so I go. I, I she said no. I go upstairs to get ready to come to the shop. She, Rachel goes and, and sets it up and sends her out there, and she goes, thank you, Christopher, and I just look at Ray like <laughs> the man did it of course the man did it but it is very much that way with grandma she will say a lot mm -hmm. of times well the man, the man has to do that I'm, I'm also like, very competent you are very competent but that's completely separate from how competent your wife is those are two lion. separate what do you want you want you want a helpless <laughs> <laughs> no, you yes. want a noodle Sometimes. do you want a noodle Sometimes. a little wet vermicelli that mm -hmm. you can throw at the wall and it'll stick is that what you want yes okay well, All men that. really want that, but but oh, but yeah. that. but that gets very boring very fast, and you are like, would you just shut up? And they go, okay, and you go, like, it's even worse. <laughs> no, I like somebody that challenges me every day and makes my life a living hell <laughs> that I have to get through. You're welcome. Thank you, beautiful. I will be the one that kills you in your sleep. <laughs> oh. You heard it here repeatedly. Over and over for 12 years. None of them are going to testify for No, you. they won't. Your no. Honor? No. They're all going to bring clips of you <laughs> on my behalf. Look at his tweet. Look at his tweet, Your Honor. He, Here's why. He, That's what everyone's going to say. It's justified. My special that year will be called Here's Why. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a montage, like an 80s movie. Just pull up the Just screen. a Rocky's Just... fighting training scene. See what I see? How I know what a Rocky's yeah, training scene is Because uh, like? she's now huh? seen nice. seven movies in her lifetime, huh? and five hey. of them are Rocky hey. movies. Hey. All right, guys. Uh, um, all right. So Let's ask Highlander really quick at the end. Uh, what is your ideal woman? Ideal woman. Mm -hmm. Not a lesbian. I think or we start man. there. We start there. Not, Not a judge. lesbian. Not so much a lesbian. Man or woman. That's fine. One. Yeah. Uh, definitely a woman. Okay. We'll, we'll start there. Um, See, and I think that's it. His, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's it. He's 14 months. <laughs> 14 months. He's like, yeah, I'm just good. Familius. <laughs> More straight than lesbian. Yeah. That's there, all. There you go. And then, and then have But not parts. 51, 49. He's he moved yeah, yeah, 80, yeah. 80, 80, 20. Yeah. Got to be 80, 20. Yeah. That's a good, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to leave it there because, <laughs> you know, men. So uh, because make sure you know, men. that you guys come to see boobs. us. Boobs, you want boobs on her. Boobs, boobs, boobs will be, be nice. Here's what um, no boobs, still I need fine. you to do. <laughs> I need you to get tickets to Titus and Bradley on May 30th because you will help me come off the road, which I desperately want to do. I want to stay home with the bunnies, the boonies. So get tickets, combustionlive.com, Titus and Bradley. You also want to see her live. Her new show is going to be amazing. You I've already seen see part us of it. Do our thing together and not kill each other. And Ken uh, <clears throat> might kill himself at some point. Can I tell him our plan? He's contemplated it a little bit and whenever we've done these And when shows. we're on the road, guys, you're going to have to see us because I have a way of, we have a plan now to get off the road. So it's going to be. Yep. Gonna we be have a, a yep. we want to come off the road. We're tired and we want to, we love having the studio and being able to live stream stuff and, Ken hates it, but Ken wants no. us to go on the road. <laughs> Ken's like, please go on the road no. every week. We're not we're not, not going to go on the road, but we're not going to. We're not not, yeah. and we're not. So we're still having the negotiations on this, on this <laughs> we're side. Currently, see how, yeah, we're currently how it deep clear it's it's an armistice. Is. Uh, is that what you just said? Um, oh. No, close. We have not signed the final documents. Treaties. We have, yeah, yeah, we are having negotiations. The accords yeah, have not been accords, signed. Yeah. There is definitely there's some definitely, sanctions going on on either, either, either side. He's uh, been sanctioned. I've been saying it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I'm choosing who I fund. What's that? <laughs> Fun to come off the road. Um, so get tickets to Titus and Bradley May 30th. It's going to be. Is that that is is that the holiday Memorial yep, Day? Yep. Mm -hmm. Is the next day. So we're so Memorial do Day Eve. Uh, so you're off the next day, and even if you're not, call in sick, um, or you'll have 48 hours to watch it. It's only ten dollars. Um, and we only have to write 12 sketches. So. 
chop, you know, chop. You know, we always do it way in advance. Oh my God. We, and can, can it, can, our can, musical can, guest gotta get this done. has to have an appearance done. Yes. Yes. Video. Yes, they, they do. Or live. Yes. Shot. One of something. The one of the other. Oh, it'll be live. Are there other people in the Wilberries? There, there are. There is another Wilberry. One? Yeah. There's two There's two berries. Oh, so it can be berries. Yeah. And it's two berries. is that berry going to be here mm -hmm. and do the... Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it All white? set. <laughs> wow. I just wonder. You think you're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> is it How white? did you know? Is it your tiny nine-year-old? <laughs> he's wow. 10. Uh, yeah, 10. What is wrong 10. with you? Yeah, he's, he's like... I'm, He's in the you mat. have a DJ, right? Uh -huh. No, he's a hype man. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. yeah, Hollander! He's just screaming in the back. I would love that. I would so go to that, that show. Would be, I would too. That'd I would love that I'm going to have him come around and dance. Especially dance now that you guys told me I need to do a lot of drugs. <laughs> I'm so in for that show. Guys, uh, go to ChristopherTitus.com if you want to get any any merch, DVDs, discs. We sign them all. Go to uh, Christopher Titus TV for all the content that we have. We have a ton of content. Oh, my God. And thank you for watching all we the comedy so many. specials. And oh my gosh, Carrying Monsters is available for download. Mm -hmm. You guys, the special that we did during covid here um it's available now it is how much it is nine dollars nine, nine bucks i mean for the love now. of god get it's, me it, off it, the road I, pay the nine dollars i would and say, go buy the special i think you're really underestimating i need yourself. how many a million people oh my god. to buy this you special. are you are such a good comic <laughs> to get me up nine million dollars when, all... when is your special going up if you want to get off the road oh when is your my special, special mm, you uh, keep saying no it is going up but we need a vimeo vhs account for my website so i my website was down a couple days turns out it was very upsetting i was at my dad's and i was like ah but it's fixed oh because yes he highlander to the rescue he threatened some people Dude, which normally daddy. that does not work mm. normally go some, daddy you're gonna be gone daddy yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah so uh things are yeah my special will be up hopefully within the next two weeks if they'll allow us to do it that quickly great I'm, i would like it up quickly guys thanks for listening thanks for uh watching and um we will see you next week for myself the lovely bombshell and the highlander later peace out um, Middle Eastern music. Say your name. I I I 